Shortcuts is one of the most interesting applications built into iOS, iPadOS, and now macOS, but it takes a little bit of understanding to really grasp it. So I'm starting back up my Shortcuts workflow series. I'll link some of the other videos in the description below so you can check it out. In this video, I'm gonna be covering making two different shortcuts. The first one is gonna be a real basic one so I can talk about the fundamentals of shortcuts. Um, and it's gonna be building a shortcut that uses the new iOS 15 feature background noises. This is one of my favorite features in iOS 15, but it's really buried in settings. So using shortcuts is really the best way to take advantage of it. Then I'm gonna jump into the automation tab and talk about how to automate changing your wallpaper based on different triggers like time. This video is sponsored by Drafts. So when getting into shortcuts, this is the main screen. This is all the shortcuts I have made, installed, gotten from friends, third-party places, other websites, Reddit, things like that. Um, and there's quite a few here. I actually spent some time over the Christmas break cleaning this up. There's well over a hundred of these, but I combined a lot of them and deleted a lot of ones that I just wasn't using anymore. But we're gonna be building this shortcut today, background audio. As you can see, it's a 20 action, action shortcut. Um, so let's go ahead and start making it. So I'm gonna hit this plus button right up here, and that's uh, to create a new shortcut. Now, what I'm gonna do for this shortcut is keep it pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna use a menu action, and we're going to basically use all the background audio features. So. Uh, for those that aren't aware, what background audio is, uh, if you ever have like noise machines or something like that that just play like rain sounds or ocean sounds or, or dark noise or anything like that, um, that is what basically we're going to be creating with this shortcut right here. So we're going to start off with the menu action. Now you could come through here and select all actions and scroll through here or go through the different categories. Uh, but I know the shortcuts app pretty well. So I just use the search feature uh, and you can too. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what all the names of the actions are. Um, so I'm just going to tap on the search feature. And I'm going to type menu. I'm going to hit the drop down, and we're going to use this action right here under scripting called choose from menu. Now, I already know what menus we're gonna create, but what you could do is as you build the shortcut, you can just hit this plus button to create new menus. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete where it says one. I'm gonna call this, this first one ocean. Then we'll do rain. Then I'm gonna hit this plus button to add a new menu. And as you see, as you add new menus, there are new sections in here. So I'm gonna do dark noise. We're gonna add another one. We're gonna call this one Toggle Media. I spelled toggle wrong. Toggle Media. Wow, I can't spell today. Media option. I'll explain what all these do in a second. Then we're gonna do another one called Turn Off. And then we're just gonna do a final one called Set Volume. So what this does is this is all of our options. This is all of our actions um, that we're going to put in between here is where the actions will live. But these are all the options we will have when we run this shortcut. So what we can do is we're gonna just start, go ahead and filling these out in between here. So as you can see, I created a menu option for ocean. If we run this, we'll get a menu. So we can pick from these right here and I can pick ocean. Now it's not gonna do anything because we don't have any actions underneath the ocean section. So let's just go up here and just type in background and we're gonna just type in background sound. And this will filter to all of the options that have to do with background sound. Now there's only three actions here, which isn't a lot, but there are options in those actions that let us do different things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, change background sound. That's the one we want. And we can just drag and drop this, or you can tap on them, but it gets added to the bottom. So I like dragging and dropping. So this has changed background sound to balance noise, but we want ocean. So we're gonna tap on this right here. And here's a list of all the noises it can make. So there are some that I didn't put in the menu. If you would rather have stream or something like that, you can swap out the menu option, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on ocean. So change background sound to ocean. So now if we run this and we hit ocean, Nothing happens. I knew that was going to happen. We need to have it play that because all this action does is set the background noise to be ocean, not any of these other ones. So we need to go back in here to background audio or sound. And then we need to do set background sounds. 
Now we want to turn background sounds on. So we can do background sounds or background sounds when media is playing. Now that basically means if I have a video or other music or something like that playing, it will continue to play those background audio sounds. Okay, so now we have background sounds on. So if we were to run this in select ocean, it would start playing that. But what I want to do first is I want to make sure the audio is balanced. So we're going to come in here and we're going to do background sounds. Uh, we'll do sounds again and set background sounds volume. Now I'm going to set this to about, mm, let's just do 40%. Nice and low so it just plays in the background and it's not, uh, you know, taking over everything. So let's go ahead and run this right here and we'll select ocean and it plays. Okay, so I just went ahead and turned it off really quick. But that's nice if you know you want ocean sounds playing in the background or something like that. But obviously we need a ability to turn that off because right now if we run this and select ocean, we can only turn it on. We don't have a way to turn it off. So I'm gonna come back in here. We're gonna type in background sounds again, and we're gonna select set background sounds and we're gonna drag it to under turn off this section right here turn background sounds and where it says on, if you tap on that, it turns off. So now we can run this, select ocean. It's running. Let's go ahead and turn that off. There you go. So that is like the basic structure of the shortcut right here. Now, what we would do is we could come in here and we'd want to replicate all these for rain and dark noise. But instead of having to go through and search for those shortcuts, what we could do is we could just tap on the icon and select copy. And then we're going to tap on that icon and do paste below, change this to rain, copy again. And you're just tapping on the icons to do this. Paste below, tap on the icon, copy copy, paste below. So now we just recreated that rain one really quickly. We can do the same thing for dark noise. So again, copy, paste below, copy, paste below. And you could do paste above too, but uh, I, I don't know. I like to work in a very linear, linear way, paste below. So we need to change rain to be dark noise. Okay. So that is the basic structure of our shortcut right there. It has all the options. Um, we could do toggle media options. So we're gonna do set background audio, set background sounds. And we're gonna select, put this under the toggle media options. And we're gonna do turn background sounds when media is playing is on. So that way if we are playing a video or music and we just wanna have rain noises or ocean in the background, we can select that option and that'll be on. And then the last thing we need to do is set volume. Now we already have this action. Uh, we could search for it again or we could just copy and paste it. I'm just gonna copy it, paste below. And we'll just set the volume to be like, I don't know, 15% or 14% or whatever right there. So that's a basic shortcut right there. We hit, when we run this, it gives us a menu. We can pick from the menu to do some actions. So we can pick rain. And turn off. Uh, we can toggle media options and stuff right there. It's, it's the basic bones of a shortcut. This video is sponsored by Drafts. You don't have to be a longtime viewer to know how much I love the application Drafts. Drafts is a text editor that supports different kinds of syntax highlighting like Markdown or Task Paper. I use this for just jotting down notes or thoughts or even long form writing. Drafts is a fast application that is built around the idea of text starting here, meaning you can quickly capture anything that pops into your head. After that, you can use actions built into the app or custom actions to manipulate, format, or even send that text to another app. And if you don't want to create your own actions, Drafts has a website, a directory with hundreds of actions that work with all sorts of different applications or can manipulate text in the app in different ways. These are built by the community and are free to download. 
One that I use a lot takes a markdown document and turns it into a properly formatted PDF. And if you find yourself struggling to get started with drafts, there is a community forum where you can read up and ask questions. Drafts is one of my all time favorite applications. I use it every single day to capture thoughts that come into my head, write long form scripts, do research and note taking, basically anything that I write down, I write in drafts. Drafts is the Swiss army knife of text and you can download it today for free and it's available on the iPhone, iPad, Mac, and even the Apple Watch. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can download it. The next shortcut I'm going to show you how to make is how to automate changing your wallpaper based on time of day or any other trigger. And for that, we're not going to use this shortcuts menu right here. We're actually going to go to the automation tab. Now, the automation tab is pretty interesting because this is where we can get shortcuts to run automatically based on different triggers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this plus button right here, create personal automation, and you'll see a list of all the triggers we have available. So these are things like time of day or when an alarm turns off, when you get to certain places, these don't run automatically. They send you a notification and you have to manually run them. Certain, and I'll show you what, what uh, how to turn that on and off. Certain triggers can run automatically, some can't. Um, like getting an email from a certain person or joining a Wi-Fi network or something like that. But stuff like battery percentage or turning on certain focus features or time of day or alarms, those can run automatically in the background. So for this one, we're gonna select time of day. We're gonna pick time of day. I'm gonna just say 5 a.m. cause that's usually what time I get up. I'm an early bird, um, but you can set it to any time you want. You could do sunrise, sunset, you could do whatever you want. You could even pick certain times before sunset or sunrise. There's really a lot you can do here. But I'm just gonna leave it at 5 a.m. and then we're gonna hit next. And now this should look pretty familiar. This is like the shortcuts canvas we were using, but this is um, a little bit more of a compact view. I really wish this was a full screen view like the normal shortcuts canvas. I don't know why they decided to make this so small. Now there's two different ways of getting images and setting them as your wallpaper via shortcuts. Um, it all depends on how you have images that you wanna use as your wallpaper saved. So you can either do this through the files app or through the photos app, however you wanna do it. I'll show you both ways. Um, if you don't have a wallpaper pack you like, uh, I just released a wallpaper pack. You can go check it out, link in the description below. Shameless plug right there. Um, but let's go ahead and start with the photos album because I think that's how most people have images saved that they want to set as wallpapers through the photos app. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit search right here and we're going to type in find photo. That's the first action we want right here. So that's find photos. And so find all photos is what we want, but we're going to hit this add filter button right here. And the way I have a lot of my photos saved is I created an album with different categories of photos. So I have one that's called album is uh, landscape wallpaper. So where it says recent, you would tap on that. I'm gonna pick landscape wallpaper. And if we run this right here, you'll see it has 24 different images in there that you can get, you can pick from. Okay, that's great, but that didn't set our wallpaper at all. So we wanna get a random image from this to set as our wallpaper. So I'm just gonna type in the word random here. And we want this action right here, get item from list. Now it, notice it doesn't have the word random in it at all, but we're gonna tap that one. And if we run this, it'll just get the first item from that photos list. We don't want that. So we're gonna tap on first item right here and we're gonna get random item. Now you could do item at index or items in range or any of that stuff. That, that kind of can get into a little more complex stuff. But for this, we just want random item and we can tap that and it gets a random image every time, different image, super cool. But that doesn't set it as the wallpaper. So we're gonna come back in here to search, type in wallpaper, set wallpaper, and we can set lock screen and home paper. You can pick if you want lock screen and home screen. If you wanna have those be two separate images, you can create two different automations, one for lock screen and one for home screen, or one automation that sets one for both and does this twice, however you wanna do it, that's cool. I'm gonna leave that, but what I want is this arrow right here. I'm gonna hit that. And that drop down shows us more options for this shortcut action. I wanna turn off show preview because if I run this right now, 
it's gonna show us a preview of the wallpaper and then I have to manually set it. Well, that's not very good for a background automation. I want this to work completely independent. I don't wanna to have to interact with it at all. So I'm gonna turn off show preview and then we're gonna hit start. And it's gonna run, it may take just a second here because it's pulling through a bunch of high resolution images. You can see right there, that is the wallpaper image we should expect to see on the lock screen when I pull down. Is that what we get? Hey, look, that's what we get on the home screen right there. Pretty cool, huh? I, I'm pretty happy with this. So um, I really like this shortcut automation. It's it's one of those ones that it, it just brings me a lot of joy to see a different image uh, that I've taken, I've edited, because the, all the photos you've seen, they're all images that I've taken and edited, and they are in that wallpaper pack that I mentioned. But we're not quite done yet. You need to hit this next button. So after you save that automation, you'll see it in the list of other shortcut automations. If you have any others right here, we can tap on it. Now this right here, ask before running was the feature that I was talking about. We wanna make sure that's off and we wanna set that to don't ask. So that way it automatically runs in the background without us needing to do anything. That's really important. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done right here. And so that's saved. Now that's just the photos album way. I did mention I'll show you the files way if you want. So let's come back in here and let's delete the photos action right there. We don't, we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to come in here and we're just gonna type the word folder, close that. And we want this action right here that's just called folder. I wanna drag it up to the top there and select folder. And I already have it picked right here, but you could just come through the files app here, go to it wherever you saved your images. So I'm gonna do 2022 wallpaper pack iPad. Okay, so that's the folder path right there. And then we need to get the contents of that folder. So we're gonna type folder again. And we want this action right here, get contents of folder. We're gonna put that right there. Now, if we were to run this, it's actually not gonna work because we had the shortcut set up for the photos app, it's looking for the photo from the photos action. So what we need to do is we need to tap on this red variable right here. That's what this is called, a variable. We're gonna clear that out. And then we're gonna tap right here where it says blank list. Now, there's all these different options in here. You could get items from your clipboard, you could get the current date, you can get device details. But we want this option right here, select magic variable. What this does is it shows every action that can pass content to another action. So right here, we want this contents of folder because what this does is this action gets the folder where our wallpapers live, then this gets the contents of that folder. So we're gonna tap this right here where it's blue contents of folder and it's going to get a random item from that contents of folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And now if I swipe down on the home screen, this should be the lock screen. Hey, look at that. Look at the way that worked. That's pretty cool. So I'm pretty happy with this. This is a way to automate uh, setting wallpaper from a folder in the files app or from an album in the photos app. Pretty cool. My thanks to Drafts for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions about shortcuts or have any requests for an upcoming shortcuts video, let me know what it is in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.